brought to you by the medical professionals at Carpal Pain Solutions, developers of the Carpal RX. If you're one of the tens of millions of people who suffer from hand and wrist pain due to carpal tunnel syndrome, wrist tendonitis, or repetitive strain injury, then like almost everyone, you probably reach for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory painkillers. But would you so readily take these drugs if you knew that they were extremely dangerous? As explained by the United States Institute of Medicine, all drugs, by the very nature of their action, are toxic to the body. But we tend to overlook these dangerous side effects with NSAID painkillers because they relieve pain. Yet some of the most popular painkillers, like Aleve, are responsible for 16,000 deaths per year as a result of problems like liver damage, heart attack, kidney damage, and stomach bleeding. Thus, the most relied on painkillers are actually killing the people who are taking them and who trust in the companies that make these drugs. The problem is so severe that each year more people die from complications from drugs like Aleve than from AIDS and cervical cancer in the United States. And year after year, reports are published that substantiate this significant public health problem. So if you can't take Advil for your hand pain due to carpal tunnel syndrome, wrist tendonitis, or repetitive strain injury, what can you do? Wrist tendonitis and repetitive strain injury are much easier to treat than carpal tunnel syndrome. But if you're thinking of having surgery to treat your carpal tunnel syndrome, Discuss with your doctor the fact that most people who have surgery for their carpal tunnel syndrome are dissatisfied with their results, but the overwhelming majority of people who treat with non-surgical therapy are quite satisfied with their results. Your doctor should candidly and openly inform you of this because those statistics are so important that the Association of Orthopedic Surgeons and the National Institutes of Health recommend that all patients try all non-surgical options before considering surgery. Those non-surgical therapy options are rest, night splinting, and deep tissue massage. These simple methods are very effective in relieving symptoms. In fact, deep tissue massage is nearly 100% effective, but only when applied daily and for two to four weeks. Otherwise, it won't alleviate symptoms. Thanks to a new technology, you don't have to see a therapist every day to get this treatment. This technology is the amazing Carpal RX. It's like a take-home therapist, where you put it on your forearm twice a day for 15 minutes. It's carefully calibrated to produce the same motions, speed, and pressures that a therapist uses when performing deep tissue massage on your wrist and forearm. And it's so simple to use. Just plug it in, slide it on, strap it in, and relax. The Carpal RX will do all the complex deep tissue massage for you. So don't just mask your pain with dangerous drugs like Aleve and throw away all those splints and braces that just don't work. And don't even think about having surgery. If you have carpal tunnel syndrome, wrist tendonitis, or repetitive strain injury, you owe it to yourself to try this remarkable product. The Carpal RX always comes with a 60-day free trial, so if you're not completely satisfied, return it for a complete refund of all of your money, including your shipping costs. The Carpal RX is guaranteed to get rid of all of your symptoms, and it will do it easily, completely, comfortably, and cost-effectively. Remember, it's completely guaranteed to work for you. Learn more at CarpalRx.com.